Hey guys, doing a little video because I saw the guy from Digital DJ Tips talking about how to record your sets when you're playing Beatport Link or any of the other streaming services. And he was doing it on a Mac. So I thought, you know what, let me show you on an Alienware. So we do with Windows, guys. So this is pretty simple stuff. Um, all you're gonna do is obviously go up to your gear icon there, right? And um, you're gonna look under audio. And you wanna make audio available to other applications. In order to do this, you need to install the virtual audio cable. So you're gonna click that, it's gonna open up a website. And there's all the stuff about installing it. Installing the virtual audio cable. So that's the guide, right? Blah, 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 that's how you do it on Mac. And that's how you do it on Windows. So, once you do that, just shut that down. And then, we're gonna open up down here. Let me make this a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna use um, Audacity. They talk about using QuickTime. I like Audacity, it's free. If you guys aren't familiar with it, you can look it up. It's not a big deal. Um, and then, um, ba, 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 recording, I need to switch this to, I don't know if you can make that out there, but you see where it says, line one virtual audio cable? Right, so that's my record. Um, I go up here to start my record and monitor. I think it's been a while since I've been running this stuff. So let me just pop something in here and see if we can make this all work. Um, over here on my DJM S11, try and get this thing rocking. And yes, we hit record. Turn on the volume. Turn up the volume. And I gotta adjust my trims and stuff. And that's it. Hit the stop and boom, you're done. You know what I mean? So that was coming off. And I just reduce this down. Sorry for the. Uh, crappy video but you get the point that was coming right off Beatport the curated playlist some pull something else in here and you go in audacity just gonna say make a new one hit the record button And you can adjust up there if you want to need to crank it up a little bit. I don't want to get dinged for copyright stuff, so just stop that. But yeah, super simple. This, is, this isn't rocket science at all. So yeah, just thought I'd make that video because I saw someone respond to Phil there, a digital DJ tip saying, hey, how you do this in Windows? Not everyone's using the Mac. Anyways, that's it. Talk to you guys soon.